Last week, I sat down with Dr. Beverly Sparks to discuss the restructuring of UGA's Cooperative Extension Service. In that interview, she admitted that due to the cuts that must take place, they can no longer continue to serve the counties at levels set in the past. The restructuring plan will assign counties a tier ranking using criteria to determine how ag agents, 4-H agents, and fax agents may be best utilized. Tier 1 counties will have no local extension office, but will have a basic 4-H program. She explains the rest of the tier process this way. At, at a second tier, at a higher level, we will actually have an office and there will be an employee there where uh, people can walk into that office and get basic services. They can take soil samples and get radon samples, uh, water samples, forward samples. People can help them find information on the internet. So we'll have that type of an office. The third um, tier will actually have uh, a county agent part-time and then we will go all the way up to six, the six tiers. So at that third, fourth, fifth, and sixth tier, there will actually be an agent uh, present in, in the office and uh, at least part-time. The sixth tier is actually an office much like we have in our large metropolitan areas. The good news is there'll be 4-H presence in all county tiers. And I do, do sincerely hope that we will only have a handful of counties across the state that will fall into that tier one and two where it's a, a minimal presence. District extension leaders are now evaluating the needs of the counties in their districts according to the plan criteria and then they'll assign the tier rankings. We are going to be meeting with um, the district teams in late September and they'll be presenting plans to us and then our job will be to make that those four plans mesh across the entire state. Dr. Spark says within a couple of months, we'll know where these counties are tiered and what it will mean to those counties. How's the feedback been? I think that's probably been the bright spot of this whole process is, is getting feedback from our funding partners and our county commissioners and school superintendents and seeing the value that they place upon cooperative extension. She says the plan they've come up with is flexible enough that when resources do return, they're going to be able to build back. There's a huge demand for uh, our agents out here and their knowledge, and so I would ask those people to be patient with us and to continue to be supportive and to let their local commissioners know, as well as their local legislators, that there's still a great value to cooperative extension. The plan is expected to take up to 18 months to implement. Now, if you have questions, contact your local county or district extension office.